All right, how's it going, everyone? Welcome back to the wrestler slash grappler career mode. Right, we had a fight signed in the last episode with English boxer Alfie Barker. More names, Alfie Barker. I don't know what fucking accent that was. Rank 14. What's your style? The art of fighting without fighting. Shabby, shabby. So he's a boxer. Six foot three giant. All right. So no messing around. We've got four weeks to prep for this. A little bit of fitness in the bank there. So shouldn't be too difficult get, too difficult getting up to peak fitness. All right. So I'm going to get stuck in and I'll see you back here when we're done. Well, this is some disappointing end of fight camp update shit. The boss man just texts me. Dana White, I've got some good news and bad news. I can't read that because that colour for that font is disgusting. Just let me know he's here. Just, just let me know he's here so we've got a backup for you. Fucking hell. I mean, I'll accept a late replacement. But uh, I was looking forward to fighting that fella. I'm sure we'll get another chance. Who is it? Gilbert Jacobs looking like a, I don't know, discount Forrest Griffin. <laughs> Another four-star fighter, though, so it's uh, the challenge is still there. What is he? What's your style? The art of fighting without fighting? Show me some of it. Kickboxer as opposed to a boxer. I mean, it's all good. What's this bullshit? Fucking social media mouth breather lying in wait. What's this? Somebody wanting me to do shit. ESPN... What are you saying? Breaking. The cooler fighter is out. Oh, that's what it said. The cooler fighter. I can actually read it now. Um, is out of his fight. All is not lost. UFC fans have confirmed they have found a replacement fighter. Uh, hope for a speedy recovery at the cooler fighter. In the meantime, my focus is on whatever. Sakurab is not the shit talking type. You know what I mean? He's a honourable Japanese man. Al Alfie Barker, once I'm healed up, hopefully we can get in there. No problem. Now, stop text me and leave me alone all right then i think we're good to go oh no fighter evolution couple of injuries i mean i don't know how how that happened i don't know i didn't get injured in training i think they were just i got two dice roll injuries at the in the fourth week of the camp uh, sorry the third week of the camp uh, one at the end of the third week and then i think it was the second week actually yeah, so we're injured. We have to fix that shit. Uh, let me see. Ground striking. Let's get that up a bit. So a bit more damaging on the ground. A sub defense. Okay, we can't do any of that. Cardio. I do want to get that to five stars. Gonna go another point in recovery. We'll just hang on to it for now then. All right, here we are with the late replacements, 27 and 12, kickboxer Gilbert Jacobs. Get back to the gym, Sakharaba, you're not ready, says Nathaniel. Well, I'll, we'll, I'll be the judge of that, Nathaniel. Hopefully, we're not wrong and we don't lose this fight. All right, here we go. Let's go. Our tail of the tape for this light heavyweight tilt. Gilbert Jacobs, like some golem looking motherfucker, isn't he? Look at him. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC light heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Grandmaster. And now, his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, the Apex. Oh, he also looks a little bit like Dad and Elkins a little bit. Right, let's go. I'm trying to touch gloves with you. I mean, what's going on? <laughs> okay, Sakuraba just not having it. Yeah, dominant performance, John. Not a decision. Oh, look at this. Oh, you've just entered into my world now, boy. Unless he's got some fucking crazy submission stats, which is very possible. Might be the biggest mistake of the fight. I'm gonna make this count. I can't let Herb come in and. Oh, look, he denies me, so his stats no, no joke, you know what I mean? It's gonna get stood up this. And there's Herb coming in. Come on. 
All right, so one minute into the fight, and I'm not sure these fighters realize that we got three or five rounds tonight. No healing out process at That's a nice all. low kick from Sakharov there. Started, these two gentlemen were ready to knock each other What is going off? on? He's going for subs. He's putting me to... Uh, sorry, he's going for takedowns. He's trying to fucking... Uh, what's he got? What's he doing this like? Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy throughout. He's doing a great job with the hands. He looks like a professional boxer out there. Just jab to the body there. Nice. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Nice uppercut. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Check them there. And another shoot. Oh, he's taking the back. There's the Kimura reversal. Been waiting for that. Oh, and he manages to just get out immediately. He, he transitioned immediately there. And he caught me off, off, off guard. I thought he was going to give me like a second as we got to the ground. Going for it again. He needs to chip away at that uh, submission bar. I don't know if we'll one tap this fella. Oh, I've gone the wrong way. But I've kept the position. I don't understand this at all. And I've just gone the right way and lost the position. Honestly, this game, I don't understand it. That was a nice elbow. Well, sometimes our stat guys are stingy with these submission attempt numbers. There have been a lot of them here. Submission defense has held up every step of the way. Yeah, he's a great grappler. And he's really, really, I'm really happy that we got that Kimura sub uh, reversal off there. He is so aware It'd be, be even better if I can actually get a win with it. He has done an amazing job staying out of those submissions. Oh, he is inflicting some serious damage with these elbows. Oh, big shots from the top. Nice move. Oh, he went for the elbow, but we flipped him over. He's got to start throwing down. Oh, and I went for the elbow. The AI just fucking dodges that shit way too easy. Now to go in the opening round. Drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Great ground and pound by this man. Just trying to come out the back door, but he faked me. Oh, nice job to split his guard and get the ground strike home again. My crowd absolutely loving it as the fighters, however compromised, make their way back to the field. They may be tired, but that tired, that fatigue is warranted. That was a high-level grappling exchange between two phenomenal grapplers. Nice straight right, Lance. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Oh, I thought he might have transitioned to the back again there. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Good defense. Oh! Vicious front kick down the middle, and it was a nice follow-up right straight. Still rocked a little oh, bit. Oh, look, I don't want. I don't know what I'm doing. I, don't, I, just, I don't know. How I just did that. Can you submit him from night, like from the standing guillotine? I know you can do that in UFC four. Oh, and he cuts me there. Oh, that's a brutal cut on his nose oh there. should have just dumped him there. Takedown defense holds up. Oh, went for that high crotch throw there. A beautiful single leg takedown. Lifted him in the air and put him down. Round two next. Not a bad round. He cut me there, though. My nose is hanging off a little bit. Before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the John Anik got a hard on now because there's blood on the bridge of the nose. And prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward, but of course, it's come on, show me that Kimura reversal. Round, All right, then, just show me it, me getting pushed to the ground on one leg. <laughs> that was a much more exciting I move. Round, DC, I mean, come on, it's fucking picky priorities when it comes to replaying Satan. Wow, this, this game is fucking <laughs> weird, isn't it? It's just weird what it, it, it deems is like a. You know, a, a, a more favourable replay? Like, what the fuck? Let's see how tired his opponent is at the start of the next one. Oh, good work with the jab there. Oh. Oh, beautiful 
the shot there with the hook. I'm not sure his opponent saw that one come. His opponent is taking straight punch. He's hooking right around the guard to land and land efficiently. The strike lands cleanly there. He's got that single collar time. Put me again. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Oh, beautiful technique on that straight punch. All right, so the hands are crispy tonight. Not exactly what we thought we would see out of this wrestler, but as a former two-time U.S. Olympian yourself with some hands, you can fall in love with this. You can fall in love with the striking, but he is showing tonight that everything starts with his wrestling. Gives it a level change, which then in turn helps him land in his striking. He looks fantastic. It's not like a phantom punch there like he hit me with. I didn't see a shot come out. I'll have to watch that back. Just missed with the left there. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body start to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. I'm nervous to shoot in on him. Down defense holds up. So get, in case I get caught. Oh, well, 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 he's fucking just judo throwed me and got me to the ground. Thanks very much. Steps over into the full mount. Beautiful Kimura sweep from Sakuraba. Flips him over into the half guard. So he's got the ground and pound game going here. Oh, try to get damage in with the elbow there. Strike on the ground. Oh, and there's another ground strike for good measure. Posture's up now. Oh, that elbow got through. Nice shot there. The ground strike's starting to pile up. Man, another one lands. He's trying to pound his opponent's head through the canvas. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jujitsu guys' guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys will start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now try to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Most fighters will tell you offensive wrestling is the hardest, most exhausting thing. Especially if you're just running the guy over. Jonathan, he just gets up. Well, he's worked very hard on this part of this game, and these ground strikes are really started to take their toll. Oh, his ground oh went the wrong way. Come out the back door. Way. Nice move by him. Got to be careful here. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Good series of elbows by him there. It's almost like he's ambidextrous when it comes to throwing these elbows. There is no strike in fighting that could really damage. Try for the armbar. Oh, but he no. denies it. This sub defense is good, like you know. Really doing a nice job getting these shots home on the ground. Oh, doubling up on the elbow. Flush. What is is ground? Uh, sub, uh, top game. I don't know what it is that determines how quickly you transition meter or how slow it is. Am I tired? I thought. I thought I was fucking tired there. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find oh, himself bit of a in the phone pocket. booth exchange there. One minute now to go round two. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. I give one, I take one. You give one, you take one. That's how this fight is being played out. Fighter lands a nasty kick. Keeping busy now, connecting with those punches. Low kick lands flush. Oh, looks like he's fatiguing a little bit. Take down defense is there. Final seconds of the round. He's back in the clinch. Let's see what he does now. Kick to the body at the end of the round there. 
I have, I feel like I have slowed a little bit. Like I've, you know, I'm, I'm close to, to fatiguing a little bit. That nose is busted up. He'll have likely recovered, I think, by the time he enters the next round. Time to watch a judo takedown three times in a row. This fucking production team is glazing this man. Like, we're getting no fucking highlights at all. Having it happen to you continuously really does make you gun shy. And right now, he's very tentative. I have to be careful. I feel like I've took a lot of big shots on the feet here, like so. There we go. It finally sticks his fucking glove out. All right, so the next round is underway. He had a hard time executing the takedown in the previous round. We'll see if he can adjust some things here and get this fight where he wants. Well, he's going to have to really set up his takedown. I mean, he just... Oh, oh that was a nice power spear he double there. Vasquez fought Big Foot Silva initially. He just took shot after shot after shot. And it was a quick fight. Oh, see if we can sink the guillotine in. Oh, that guillotine choke Just going to see what he does. I'm going to try and double deny before I go for any... Oh, I've gone the wrong way. Fuck. Oh, somehow, some way he got out. These guys are back and forth, but the submission defense wins this transition. Now inside the closed guard. And he's going to try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. Landing strikes nicely here from top position. Another ground and pound strike gets home. Well, he has done some serious damage with these elbows, DC. And if you're on the other side, you got to figure out a way to stop this one. you got to get those hands up. you got to block whenever you're in tight. Make sure you're not taking all these nasty elbows. Making all these shots count. I mean, what am I doing? I'm a rubber garden. I don't know how to... <laughs> Fuck, I don't use the rubber guard much. He's going for an arm bar here. How we'll flip him over that? into the arm bar, though. Arms in deep. Oh, he's out. I thought I had that covered there. Great submission defense by this man. It looked like he was done. Oh, and he steps over into the mount. Really good job to land these strikes from top position. Another ground and pound strike lands for this man. All right, bottom fighter here. Maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, trying to pass here. As Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. Lands with the ground and pound. Oh, man, this guy's got elbows for days, huh? He throws them up, he throws them across the body. He just has a variety of elbow attacks. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. Pretty good elbow there from the but it takes forever to, to cut him with these ground elbows, doesn't it? Like these off your back elbows are not as good as like the top ones. He's so calm in the face, such a big spot. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom. Oh, beautiful. Flipped him over into the mount with that scissor sweep. Gone the wrong way, but I kept the position somehow. Any attempt to get past his guard. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. It might be a submission attempt here, Chan. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. And there you go, again, half guard. Great job finding his shots from the top position. Another ground and pound strike lands. Oh, he's got to be careful there, yep. Oh, and another there. elbow gets through. A couple hammer fish there for good measure. <laughs> nice strike from bottom position. Look at Change that. positions. Get a go couple of elbows in from the side saddle. Last minute and a half Ooh, of the fight. Right side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack. See, we can lock in the Kimura. Potential submission attempt here. Oh, and he gets out instantly. I pressed the right way there, but he just got out. Oh, and he manages to push me off and get back to the feet. This is his chance. I know we don't have open scoring, but... Correct me if I'm wrong, he needs a submission or he's losing this fight. He is not a big puncher, so he needs to get this fight to the crown. I mean, they're talking like I'm losing this fight here. Like. Oh, nasty cut right on the bridge of the nose. He is bleeding. Massive 
Well, just need me in the fucking balls there. So inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, he's trying to pin that last ditch attempt at a try. Uh, oh, at a so be it. Tight. Could be the beginning of the end. I've gone the wrong way. I'm gonna have to go for it. This is my last chance. Oh, Sinking it in. Oh, what a desperate escape! It might not be enough though. Tried for the uh, for the rear naked at the end. Well, it's in the hands of the judges now. And more replays for Gilbert. The production team glazing this man fucking hard. <laughs> Look at this. Back, back to the hip throw again. Didn't, in case you didn't see it enough in this first load of replays, there it is again. I think we've just lost. I mean, but it did look like he did just enough to earn. A competitive I think we decision. might have just lost. All right, the official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. Judge one scores this contest, 29-28. Split decision. And master. Judge two scores it, 9-28. The apex. And judge three scores it, 9-28. For the winner by split decision, Grand Master. Ooh. I mean, I think I agree with that. I mean, I know he's piecing me up on the feet, like, but we had top control, we had ground and pound, we had a takedown or two. First split decision I've had in the game, to be uh, to be honest as well. I have never had split decision. His submission defense was good. It was, uh, it was a hard to submit him there. Let's have a look at the overall scorecards there. Uh, close shit. First and third judges gave it to us. Interesting that middle judge gave him the second round. Some weird fucking money envelopes exchanging hands maybe. No he did uh, he did get off some good strikes at one point. Is, that, is he going to be a rival now? Is he, I'm sure he's going to take that uh, defeat, you know, with uh, some humility and he's going to be humble about it and there's going to be no backlash whatsoever. John Anik, question for Sakuraba. Do you have anyone in your sights now after earning a place at the top 15? I'm just going to ignore him. He's just a, like an annoying fly buzzing around your head, isn't he? Alfie Barker, congrats on you with Sakuraba. Hopefully we can get in there and together next. Well, that's what's going to happen. Four stars, let's get this fight signed this time. Six week camp. Johnny Walker, dethrone and Anthony Smith. What's this? Look at this. Johnny Walker, with the uh, Looney Tunes knock knockout ragdoll animations, is sitting at the top of the mountain. What the fuck is going on, Pereira? Prokhashka, get up there and dethrone Johnny Walker. Over in St. Prue in the top 10. I mean, come on, fucking hell. Why is this motherfucker still on the roster? Okie doke, excuse me. <clears throat> Little bit of fitness on the bar, but not much. But we got six weeks, so it shouldn't be a big deal. Okie doke, right, I'm going to get stuck into the camp. And I'll see you when it's over. All right, that's the camp for old Alfie Barker. Complete 26 and 3. Decent record there from Alfie. Now, is it me, or is the longevity bug looking a little bit better than it was compared to the last playthrough I don't know if it's actually been patched or or what but it seems to be going at its normal rate now like I feel like at this point in our career last time we were sort of halfway through the longevity what's Bert Giro saying hope Sakharaba put the judges in his oh, something bullshit accusing me of paying off judges after the last fucking split decision all right some other bullshit I wanted to point out I don't think we can do it yet, but I tried to learn the, the triangle off Paul Craig because we're in the top 15 now, we're ranked 13, but the game has deemed him a en potential enemy because he's also within the top 15 and we can't learn the triangle off him, which is fucking bullshit, you know what I mean? That's I want to learn that fucking move and because the game's deemed him a potential opponent, like you should be able to re learn the 
certain moves off multiple people, otherwise that just excludes you from learning certain moves. And bear in mind, it, it does say Misha Serkinov has the triangle as well, but there, there's been a bug in the game for five months where you just can't learn it off him. You just, you, you're not able to, so... Fucking... I mean, I wonder if the game changers mentioned any of that shit. You know, when they got flew to fucking, you know, Canada and... It was like retard's day out, wasn't it? They, they let all the special needs kids run around fucking the AI studios for a couple of hours and... I bet you none of them, none of them are talking about stuff like that, you know what I mean? While they're doing fucking head kick fucking animations and... Fucking trying to walk into the cage like fucking John Jones. Fuck's sake. All right. Got an empty slot, I must remember as a... Tramp, take advantage of this. Right. We've got Workhorse, we've got Recharger, we've got Grinder. What have we got? Higher altitude. Strikes consume less stamina rounds 3, 4 and 5. We're not going to be looking at that yet. No five round fights until we get to the title. Incoming damage is less effective. Have we got out of the gate? Strikes consume less stamina. Uh, wake up call. Recover from stuns and knockdowns more quickly. Sorry, just bumped my mic there. Uh, I never know, what did I go with last time? I can't remember what I, what I, what I went with. I had all cardio for my last, uh, for my last run. Did I get that one? I did get that one. Incoming damage is less effective and you have less health, the opponents. While moving. I mean, I might as well get this out of the gates. We do throw strikes in the opening two rounds, just to try and open the AI up, I, uh, open up the AI a little bit and uh, try and get that, that take up, take down opportunity going. Right, can we finally get this rounded off? Full cardio, get the recovery full when we get the chance, but we won't be able to do it just yet. We've got John Annex sitting in the DMs on ghost mode. He can stay there and we'll get to the fight with Alfie Barker. I'm nervous for this one, let's get the bonus now these two they put on a show yeah was that crazy they only had three rounds though we've seen that bullshit a thousand times retard version of mark Wahlberg there warming up in the back <laughs> mark Wahlberg. oh we got a we got an entrance here got a main event slot All right he's got cardio for days and so that five round pick would have actually been beneficial here i wasn't paying attention and we get to hear Sakuraba's classic entrance music as well that I've edited in from his pride days. He used to walk out to this all the time. It, it's not the Super Mario Brothers remix version, although, now that I'm saying this, I might actually put that in and edit it so you're hearing the full thing at the moment, and I think that's exactly what I'm going to do for that, that time when Sakuraba walked out dressed as Super Mario. Highly efficient blocking. Incredible cardio, light and fast hand speed. I did also get the uh, the loop and cross and the snap jab learned in training off Tai to Ivasa, so the stand-up game is a little bit more refined. It's I'm throwing the strikes that I actually like to throw. They come out just so much better the snap jab and loop and cross compared to the normal jab and cross. There's like that weird like rhythm delay with this with the normal jab. It's like jab straight jab straight but with the snap jab and loop across it's like jab straight jab straight you know what i mean it, it just cut the the second punch comes out it, it, for me a lot better in, for a striker alfie looking like a mean fucker look at him now we got we got lit up enough in the last fight with strikes to to warrant it being a, a split decision, you know, it's a, it's probably only the ground control and the little bit of ground and pound and submission offense. I mean, of course, Alfie's got dangerous submissions, you know what I mean? He's a boxer, why wouldn't he have dangerous submissions? This game's weird. I mean, I, I like this game as much as all the shit it gets, but there's parts of it I fucking hate, you know what I mean? No, you don't want him in the bracket. 
There's a hideous tattoo on Alfie's arm there. 12th rank Alfie Barker. 13th rank Kazushi. Unlucky for some, hopefully not. Here's Bruce for your introduction. Happy with the, the amount of number 13s. We got 13 wins. We're ranked 13. There's too much 13 going on. The finish would certainly be useful for him as he tries to take his career to the next level. We'll see if he can continue the momentum. Oh, beautiful counter with the jab. Nice front kick. Oh, and a nice head kick there. Lands for Alfie. The nice head kick from the fucking boxer who's fucking amazing at submissions. He blocked that punch. Just out of range with that right hook. Front kick to the body there from Sakuraba while he was mid exchange. Oh, big right hook as I tried to enter. He knows one direction that is forward, he knows one style that is aggressive. And that's exactly what we've seen tonight. He has every intent of overwhelming. Not got any block counters here. What's going on? And he's doing that up to this point of the first round. All right, so we have got a full-on brawl to start this fight. Any concerns? Oh my God! He just needed to fucking punch me out of the fucking cage. So we may as well enjoy it right now because come the third round, regardless of the weight class, they're going to look like two tired heavyweights in the middle of the octagon. I think I've got a check off there. Beautiful body kick. Straight right hand now just misses. Straight right, straight to the body there from Sakuraba. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Both fighters throwing heat now. Rips the body there. I mean, look at this fucking striking exchange. I kind of want to fucking beat him at his own game. <laughs> fucking take a break from doing the sub. Throwing that jab now again. The fighter of eight. Lands a big right hand there. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job. What I'd like to do for this fight is get enough damage on him with, a with strikes so we can potentially get a, a ground and pound stoppage. Oh. Because I don't feel like you're going to get away with enough strikes on the, on on the ground with this AI to, to warrant a stoppage. It's probably going to have to be added up from from on the feet strikes as well. Oh, rips the body shot there. Just over two minutes now to go. It got checked. Oh, right hook attempt. Oh, okay. no good. Stop Try for the shot down. though, and I just walked away, which I didn't mean to do. Oh, got caught with an uppercut there. in the water you gotta go and get it you gotta go find the finish you cannot let him off the hook like that because now he will be motivated to try to go and hurt you as you hurt him oh let him get away with a block counter there blow is busting from that cut with each strike landed and he continues to effectively target that area you know we are talking another one a super high fight IQ so when you give him that blood, that crimson red is nothing more than something that Cut inspires me again. him to continue doing what he's doing. So you have got to change something. You got to get your head moving so you're not taking too much damage to that cut. All right, 45 seconds. 
seconds now to go on the rest. Oh, nasty cut there, right on the bridge of the nose. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. All right, so a good series of kicks by him there. He has mixed it up beautifully, I think, on the feet tonight. He is kicking everywhere tonight. God, I'm not switched job. on at all with the block counters. Eats a jab there. Oh, just took a flush one. This might be a mistake trading with them on the feet. Fifteen seconds remain in the round. Yeah, look at this fucking bullshit. We've got the super AI for this fight, no doubt. Five minutes in the books. Yeah, that's his round. Right, so the round is cut me fucking on 700 times. Lost count of fucking how much cuts I got there. We did get to him though, blood coming out of the bridge of the nose. He rocked me as well, which is not good. Oh, flush overhand. Left, left up a cut, but sure if that connected. Yeah, I think it did. I heard the noise from it. He is going to target that eye even more in this next round. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two here. Is he going to be able to keep up that striking for 25 minutes? Oh, he lands another debilitating strike to the body, and he continues to punish his opponent. Oh, look at this. Kicked his leg out from under him, but I couldn't follow up. Oh, there we go. That's in and take down. Gets him to the ground. Big ground and pound. I mean, it did say he's got dangerous submissions, so... So watch out for the ground game. Trying to sit in the half guard for a bit. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other DC. Yes, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. We knew that both guys would be very evenly matched in this fight. But we didn't expect to see this. Oh, that's a nice little shot there. Guys. Elbow got in. Doubled up on that straight this time. Nice shot. And another one. Another strike from the top. Lands for him. Try it again. It's only a matter of time before the AI sweeps me. Working out of the half guard here. I'm on the ground, coach. What the fuck are you talking about? And very effective with the ground and pound. Let's go for it again. This is not football. Targeting is legal, and he is going at that cut, which is getting worse with every passing ground strike. Under three to go round two. Oh, that was a nice connection there. Beautiful ground Beating strike him up land. on the ground. This is where he wants to be. Again, not much defense there. Another ground strike gets through. Oh, swelling and blood. You wonder if at some point that's going to impact the breathing. Not a good situation for him here. Wonder how long before Vampiro makes an appearance. Continuing to work out of the half guard. Oh, come on, let me get that fucking elbow through. Just over two minutes to go. And oh, we got a minor cut right from off from up. him on his fucking back. Oh, that fucking distracted me so much. It enabled him to get back to his feet. What a load of bullshit. We've just cracked him with fucking elbows from the... T we'll say that. We might have actually cut him. But the fact that I got cut there from the bottom like that... So some fatigue striking, I guess you would call it here. He is landing, but just not inflicting much damage because his stamina is on low. Oh, there's a flush head kick as he was mid-exchange there. He's hurt bad. Oh, that's a nice block counter uppercut there off the straight. Oh, and I tried to fucking 
trip him to the ground there. Oh, well, that cut is only getting worse, champ. I'm not sure if it's time to call in the ringside position, but we got a bloody mess on our hands now. Yeah, bloody mess. This guy's almost unrecognizable. Uh, you look at... You look at this guy, and you look at his Bit of fatigue toughness. setting in. And his toughness may be a problem right now. Oh, beautiful little left up there from Sakuraba. And mixes in a takedown. Right up. Oh, straight into the side mount. Continuing to target that swelled area. Gonna look for the, the Kimura counter from me. Yeah. Oh, I took my finger off the left trigger. Shit. Fucked it up. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas. He's one of the better. Back to fucking beating him up on the ground, hopefully. And you're seeing what? Print the shirts. Ground and pound. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Oh man, another strike gets through, and now things are critical. We got a lot of blood, folks. Hey, All right, into full guard here, DC. I know you don't like hanging out here for too long. No, you don't want to stay there. Too much of a submission threat, you've got to pass. He passes to Dominant rounds, just pretty much had him on lockdown for most of that second round there on the ground. So the fighters head back to the stools and hopefully this fight can continue. That is a severe cut. Vampiro got to be rubbing his thighs. I mean, you think with the amount of ground apart, we've hit him with have more of a significant cut on the nose rather than that scratch that he's got. Oh, there's that nice elbow that got through. All right, so now we have some real adversity. There's a cut on the nose. Hard to know if that's impacting the breathing, but some definite damage in that previous round. Yeah, some real damage. And now when you get a cut like that, that is in a bad spot. I think he's recovered. Every time you get hit on the nose, it's so jarring. And then the blood starts to go down into the mouth. He's got an uphill battle ahead of him. Oh, for that. Nice straight right hand. Oh, and another back-to-back -back cut there. Fucking hell. Block that strike. Counted well, me point, going that for that liver shot a couple of times. Seen in some time. I think you got to call in the ringside position. It's hard to watch. John Anik wants the cr Crimson King to come in. It's disgusting. It's like Overeem's lip. Yeah. It's like when we see these types of cuts like this, it's hard for me to watch because I know that the only thing that can happen is the person gets more and more damaged. Oh, right hand barely missed there. Well, as soon as he goes with that high guard, he pays for it to the body. You see the bruises really starting to accumulate now. In the beginning of the oh, right digging the toes in there off that kick to the liver. Right now, I believe that this guy has to worry about his body. Look at how red the side of his body is. He's got to change something. Oh, and a vicious block counter left up from Sakuraba. Maybe it's looking to finish. Oh, tried to go for the elbow there. He's going to see what he does. Attempting a choke. He's knackered. I'm going to go for the rear naked choke. Let's see if we can lock it in. Five star rear naked for the win. Oh, what a desperate escape. What a beautiful display of submission defense. Not see if we can get some. Some damaging on the ground yet. All oh, the damage just continues to be inflicted. And with respect to the athletes, if this was a movie, I might just walk out. I don't need to see it. I mean, I just don't need to see it. it, it it's to a point now where it's getting a bit uncomfortable. You have a fighter who's clearly outmatched, and his corner will not save him. Let's just try and get as much damage in as possible. Got plenty of time to work, just under three minutes. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. Lands the grounded pound strike here. Oh, that was a solid elbow that got through there in the mount. And we have passed the midpoint of the fight. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back. Good job now looks like reclaiming the arse guard there. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Oh, and the elbow gets through again. Continue to pile up. Well, 
Well, nothing in the unified rules says you can't strike from off of your back, and he did well there. He continues to apply pressure here in half guard. Well, you fucking calm down, Coach Davis. What are you fucking on about? You're not the one in, in the cage. What are you on about? Calm down. <laughs> trying to win a fight here, dickhead. God, the way he just pulls me down immediately like that. Working in half guard here, making these shots count. Like that, fucking hell, can't even get a fucking punch off. Great job landing from the top position. Another one. I mean, he cannot miss from the top position. Stop doing that, that's so annoying. Oh, all right, just get the full guard back then. Fucking hell, he wasn't going to quit there until he got what he fucking wanted. That's bullshit. Is there any way I can stop that? Oh, nice transition. Oh, what the fuck happened there? Yeah, you turn your defense into offense. Defensively, you switch position and you go right on the offensive. That's exactly what he did. This is some exhausting work, man. I mean, it is so tiring to be fighting in this way. So much wrestling, so much grappling, expending all this energy trying to hold the guy down. I mean, it's, it's, it, no takedown is not fought. No reversal is not fought. The Everything fucking blood on the mat. It's fought to the very last minute before it gets given up. Oh, he's stepping over the head here. Oh, try and lock in that Kimura. 30 Kimura seconds to go. Right. Oh, when he got out of... I don't know. I pre-denied that shit. I don't understand that. I just don't understand. Now he finds himself out and safe. Final seconds here. He's just pulling me down immediately. I'm not getting any an opportunity to. Can I deny that? That when he grabs the back of my neck, can I deny that? It's wow, pissing me off how that's happening. I'm not. It's not letting me work from the postured up half guard position. We'll see if the cut man can stem the bleeding here. Right, the truck has produced some replays from that previous round. Perhaps we can even isolate. Oh, look at that! Just it spat a load of blood up in the air there as that straight landed. It's nasty and it's in a bad spot because the reality is, when you can't breathe through your nose, you start to open your mouth. But the blood is dripping down into your mouth. Oh, look at that How are you shot. going to breathe in order to have a chance to win this fight? You gotta be careful. I don't get caught with too many more fucking shots here. He caught me with some good ones. And there's an open and overhand right off the bat that I didn't even block. It's a pretty fast jab. Great timing. Oh, an easy takedown for Sakuraba there. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Nice shots landing from the top position. Another ground and pound strike oh, We actually got some shots off there. Up. Oh, and he lands a brutal strike to the head. Watch a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective. To throw it's really difficult getting that elbow in, like, isn't it? And another cut from the bottom. Oh, the ground and pound is there. Fucking bullshit, that. see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. And there it is, another strike gets through on the ground. And there you go again, half guard. Nice positional control here. Okay, then I'll just fucking move to the side, mouse, and fucking start dropping elbows. DC, you know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Great elbow landing. From the top. Oh, nice combination of elbows. Neon belly. I know you've got a huge appreciation for this. Well, I mean, this is this is high level grappling by both of these guys. I don't know what's going on. Can't throw any elbows. What's out? I'm trying to throw a strike. It's not fucking letting me. Fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially. What the fuck just happened? I couldn't throw any elbows. And there you go again. Half guard. Oh, big pop from the Some weird shit going on there. 
after a pretty scintillating grappling battle there on the ground. Well, it's an educated crowd. Bit of fatigue setting in now. Gruel and grappling. Changes in how, how skilled both of these men are. He was able to block that shot. Right, Another coach fucking hell. Focus is attacking that cut, and man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flowing. Yeah, as it should be. Right? He should be focused on getting to that cut, making his opponent pay. He did the work. He opened up the cut. Now it's on him. Are we finished? We can't. Oh, slams him. Another nice takedown. DC. Now we'll see what he can do with it, but certainly an impactful moment in the round. He slams him down with so much conviction, and nothing is more discouraging for your opponent than being lifted up off of his feet and then slammed back down to the mat. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in okay, a long time. Okay, gonna step over into the mount this time. See if we can oh, he's got the do some work from here instead of the half guard. He's very accurate in the ground and pound, and it's showing because he's landing so consistently. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Now he's got a good body position, yup. Come on, let me, let me get that elbow in. Determined to finish him with the elbow. It's not going to happen like that. Oh, nice. He's got to find a way back to his feet. Massive shot from the top. Strikes oh, I think that was a flush connection. He didn't have his hands up anyway, so but the sound didn't play. Under a minute to go in round four. Great shot from the top position. Oh, and another punch on the ground. We're both through. fucking exhausted. Some defense here. Now he's going full mount. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Oh, big elbow from top position. Ten seconds remaining here in round four. Posture's up now and lands the vicious head strike. Oh, another strike lands from the top. Buzzer sounds for the end of round four. Going into the fifth. Right, back to the stools we go. Wish I would have took that cardio pick now. I mean, so we, we could easily be KO'd here. Like, we've been cut up the arse. You know what I mean? We've got a thousand cuts. And we're gassed as well. So we're moments away from being KO'd here. If we get it with anything big. I mean, he's getting hammered. He's going back to the well over and over again. And why would he not? His opponent wasn't good on the defense. His opponent allowed him to land too clean. And now, he's just targeting that cut on the nose. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. Fifth and final round. Nobody recovered. Stamina-wise. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Go after the cut. End this fight. End it. Oh, that body shot hurt him. Beautiful left up right straight there. Oh, and he's still got enough fucking stamina while he's fucking rocked to fucking deny that takedown. Good block. Push kick there to the body. Stuff the takedown, no problem. All I'm doing there is just tiring myself out. Just misses with that big right hand. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Well, no surprise to see him <laughs> rinse and repeat. He's just blowing on me now when I'm getting caught. Oh my god! Fucking hell, we both threw. <laughs> I didn't mean to get the knockout.
That was like um, Carlos Condit, Dan Hardy there, both throw the left hook. I mean, I think we just landed first. Look at this. Oh, he was. Oh no, he landed the liver shot, but he was queuing a left hook up. Oh, there it is. Fucking hell. Oh, and it just missed our face. Fucking hell. That was like. Couldn't have been any closer. I mean, we both threw it exactly the same time there. Well, Sakuraba gets his first knockout in the career. That fellow was hard to submit. Like. We send it inside now to Bruce Buffer. He uh, reversed me a couple of times over there for those subs, but I was trying to get the ground and pound stoppage more than anything just to change up the winds a little bit. Well, Sakuraba gets his first knockout, and that's one way to vary up the, the wins, at least, anyway. Both knackered there, grueling grappling. That's the only thing I don't like doing with the grappling, it just fucking gasses you too much. How was the, how was the scorecards looking? Not too bad, we were up like... 35-40 on that second judge. Yeah, we were controlling him. Plenty on the ground for a bunch of those rounds. Your longevity is taking a shit. Yeah, no, sh no fucking sh no shit. Fucking got cut. I don't know how many times there. Tyler Santos, hasn't she gone to the PFL now? She's like not even on the UFC roster anymore. It's weird how they just got rid of her. Dana White, fight of the night, says the boss. Pretty good fight, I must admit. Brett Ned, think, uh, wishes he didn't take that fight. Brilliant performance by Sakuraba. Right, let's get a fight book. I did, before I started recording today, I did me, uh, oh, look at this, gut. I did me picks for UFC 300. I've got some, uh, Controversial picks, not controversial, but probably going against the grain of what people might expect as far as the winners go. There's Gus there, number 13. We're about to breach into the top 10. Let's get that signed. Yeah, I've gone for Jamal Hill over Pereira. I mean, I want Alex to win. I'd love Alex to be the, you know, the champion in the light heavyweight division, you know, he's a kickboxer and Speaking of styles, what's your style? The art of fighting without fighting? Show me some of it. Kickbox set for Gus. Let's get it signed. Yeah, um, I'd love Alex to win. I, I'm, my heart wants him to win. I'm rooting for him, but I think Jamal is going to... I know, I went back and forth over it, like, you know, but, you know, they both get hit a lot. But they're both, like, good punches as well, but, uh, I don't know, you know, J Jamal being in the southpaw stance might take the... The calf kick away from Pereira, but you know, he could easily just kick the lead leg. But all Hill's got to do is just turn his leg in a little bit, and there's a check happening. But uh, yeah, I've gone for Hill. Uh, I've gone for for Wei. Oh, I let, I let Mrs. Livershot pick the uh, the co main between Wei Li Zhang and uh, Yan Zhao Nan. I think she picked. Who did she pick? I think she might have picked uh, Wei Li to win, I think. I think Jan might. Uh, does, she's got a good opportunity, one, like if she sticks to her straight punches and whatnot. Yeah. Right, let me get this camp out the way and then I'll come back with this if I think I'll. All right, I'll see you in a bit. All right, that's the camp for Gustafsson done. Look at that, 19 and 11. Gus's record. Flores Sado, I don't believe in lucky shots unless Livish has thrown them. Hamish, don't get too cocky, Sakura, but I could have won that last fight. I'm sure you could have from your fucking armchair. Right. 55 points, terrible training camp there, didn't get much in terms of evolution points. And look at these fucking injuries from that fight, that brutal five round fight. I can't fix that one until I fix that one. I can't fix any more until I fix that one. Yeah, who else did I have on the, the fight picks? I can't think who else is on the fucking card now. Bo Nickel was the opener. I mean, why is Bo Nickel on the, the main card? And there's a bunch of fucking amazing fights on the undercard. I mean, Davis and Figure Davis and Figueredo and Cody Garbrandt. You know, it was only a couple of months ago. Davis and Davis and Figueredo was a champion. Yuri Prohajke, another one on the prelims. Fucking scandalous. But Bo Nickel gets a fucking opening card slot. I don't know. Someone's uh, can, someone's glazing someone in Bo Nickel's fucking life to get that. Uh, to get that opportunity. 
Dana's just very high on him. But I've gone for Bo Nickel in that fight against Cody Brundage. Um, who else? Justin Gaethje and Max Holloway. What a fight that's going to be, hopefully. I mean, I'm ho hoping Max can make it compare. A lot of people give him Max a good chance for this one. You know, he's bulked up a bit. Um, I think just Gaethje's going to gonna do him, I think. I don't know. I don't know if he'll stop him. You know, Max is known to be... He can take a lot of punches, can't he? But I'll tell you what, let's get to the, uh, get to the fight. And we'll talk about this during the ring walk. All right, I'll see you there. And now our oh, well, looks like there's going to be no ring walk. But uh, yeah, I'm going to go with uh, with Gaethje for that one. And there was another fight as well, a blanket on. But here's Bruce Field introduction. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Alexander the Molar Gustafsson. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Grandmaster. Right, let's try and get back to the wrestling a bit more. I know we controlled that lad in the last fight for three rounds, but we ended up knocking him out on the feet. That set up this particular showcase here tonight. Can he keep the momentum going and register another knockout? His fan base is swelling. He is more popular than ever after a big knockout win his last time. I mean, the hand speed just absurd. Oh, he read me up. Fucking double uppercuts there. Trying to change levels. Start to this fight, unless, of course, you like defense. What a great fight. So oh, nice defense from Gus. Shot to the body. I don't think he's going to go for a throw here. I wish I was a baller and all that stuff. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown? I don't like just going for takedowns like that because AI is just going to stuff there. him and then that just means I'm fucking losing stamina. Body kick lands. And now Leather being thrown on both sides. Just misses with the straight right. And blocks that hard punch. A little single collar tie there. Oh, he's separation of the clinch. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Oh, Gustafsson going for the takedown. I wasn't expecting that. It just saved me a job, though. Trying to guard pass here. Not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. All the elbows continue to rain down, and these are really starting to do some damage, champ. He's doing a great job of throwing elbow after elbow. Whatever's available, he's taking. Oh, big elbows. Well, Gustafson's looking to go from the full to the half guard here. Oh, Sakuraba looking for the Kimura again. Ooh, that Kimura looks tight. Let's just see what he does here. I'm going to go for it. Oh, and a desperate escape for Gus there. He did a great job of straightening his arm. And when his arm straightened, he followed the momentum going in that direction to free himself from that Kimura attempt. Lands with the ground and pound here. Oh, that shit always catches me out. I'm not sure which way to go to defend that. Their way back to the feet. A huge response from the crowd, no surprise there. I loved it. I loved all the grappling that was on display there. But fight fans want to see striking, and that's exactly what they're going to get as he finally makes his way back to his feet. Oh, nice. Oh, and yet another knee finds the target. So a huge moment here. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Oh, outstanding placement as he lands the knee to the body. Again, the taller fighter making noise with a knee strike there. Left hook to the hook. He's got to throw that kick behind those punches. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that. Beautiful body kick. 90 seconds to go. Oh, nice takedown defended. Right now, a little separation between the Flawless two. Flawless takedown defense so far from Gus. Back to the left hand now. 
connect. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Swing and a miss with that punch by Alexander Gustafs. Oh, nicely timed there. Making all these shots count. Working out of the half guard here. Oh, he's trying to escape the back door there. Oh, he got to the spot. Really maximizing his shots here on the ground. Right inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out. Our guys start to attack triangle. Big power shots landing. I need you to scramble. Scramble. Oh, good ground and pound here. Final seconds around one. Another strike gets through from the top position. Well, the hell that round flew by, it felt. Well, it went really quick. How about that round? He got him badly there early on. You thought that maybe that was going to be the beginning of the end. At the very least here, got to think he's going to try to get him out of here in this next round. J.A., he's on skates. I mean, he was on skates. His ability to withstand that Oh, that's when he cracked me with the double uppercuts there, changing levels. That's so dangerous, getting hit like that. Oh, vicious uppercuts there from Gus. Production team, Glazen Gustafsson, getting his takedown, even though we went under one of his shots right. to get our own takedown, but right. never mind about right, that right, one. Let's get to round two. It's the fucking Gustafsson show. So Scalas with effective punch there, and at least in that situation, it paid to have the advantage in reach. Well, new round, same narrative. He continues to punish the body yet again, just as he did in the previous frame. Missed with that attempt. Catches oh, the nice foot sweep from Sakuraba. Defense into offense, catches the kick and dumps him on the mat. What a great job timing that kick, driving into his opponent and putting him on his back. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, so the hands are crispy tonight. Not exactly what we thought we would see out of this wrestler, but as a former two-time U.S. Olympian yourself with some hands, you can fall in love with this. You can fall in love with the striking, but he is showing tonight that everything starts with his wrestling. Gives you an upgrade in ground striking there. It's always nice to see. In the striking, he looks fantastic. I did not expect him to look this good in the boxing tonight. Gustafson's nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. Lands the ground and pound strike. Oh, he escapes the back door there. Strong reversal there. Oh, I managed to deny his transition, which is a fucking miracle. Well, it looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC, and defensively, you better be careful. Oh, he gets back to his feet. Oh, that illegal kick to the head there as I fucking got up. Definitely didn't see that shit. Yeah, the fans came to see him knock each other out, and that's what they're going to get. All the grappling was beautiful to watch, John, but ultimately, it is the striking that people show up. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. You know, sometimes when you play basketball, you're in the zone. This dude's in the zone. Oh! Big right hand there. Combination hit me there. Still plenty of time to go here, round two. Well, I'm no fighter, but if I rock a guy to that extent, I feel like I'm closing the show. Absolutely. You got to go close the show if you get a guy hurt that bad. You cannot back off and take your time. He's right for the picking. Go and pick the fruit. <laughs> oh, wild swings there. Made him pay for that. Oh, there's the counter. The, the, uh, the side choke counter again. See, we can keep him here. Body all the way to the opposite side. Drop his chest to get all the way down to his opponent's neck to try to choke him out and finish his fight. He's got it. He's got it. He's got it locked in. Oh, there's the tap. The second round tap. Back to the submissions. No knockout for this one. Sakuraba coming away virtually unscathed.
Got a little bit of a cut, I think, over the left eye there. But it was the front kick to the body that was caught. Whoop, sweep that foot out. Beautiful. Got the... Uh, Right, let's take a look back at the replay as he the head and arm choke counter there from the from the, from the cross face trying to, when he's trying to recover his half guard from the side mount eventually his opponent gave him an opportunity beautiful submission he did that and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon we go inside the octagon Bruce buffer has the official decision ladies and gentlemen referee herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes 44 seconds of round number two declaring the winner by submission due to an arm triangle choke no oh, look he said arm triangle choke there but he didn't say um, what did I win with before the Kimura I don't think he said Kimura must have forgot to record certain submission dialogues for the game this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard and his opponent is known to lay in the guard he made him pay more we finished from the from top position DC we didn't finish from inside the guard all right let's get a contract signed another fight booked and then that's the end of the video medium height we're not doing that KO or TKO three times no chance Uh, one main event pay-per-view on the current contract I mean it doesn't matter at this point I don't really care about these contracts not like we're trying to gain fans and popularity alright not liking the look of that 15 and all. I, I wish I had like a couple of losses already but uh just going for these submit. I know we've nearly been like knocked out on the feet, and we did get that. Uh, thing Misha Sekhanov got us with a desperate escape, which is technically a tap. But well, if you think about it, like I fucked up, and but just the way the game deems it, you know, the mechanic of the subs in this game now, it's it's a desperate escape. But he did get me, as far as I'm concerned. That's like a in, in my head. That's like pancreas. You know, when you get a rope escape in pancreas, that's like to break the submission. That's kind of like. You know, you got caught in the submission, but you'd have to use one of your lifelines to, to break it, and that means grabbing the rope. Look at this, Magomed Ankalaev, number five, four and a half stars. What's your style? The art of fighting without fighting? Show me some of it. Sambo for Magomed, but he loves to strike. He's more striking orientated, but he's not afraid to fall back on that Sambo. Let's get it signed. Let's get that shit signed. Five week camp. Let's have a quick look at the, the leaderboard there before I sign off. Johnny Walker still clambering onto that title. Alex Pereira climbing back up. Briri Prohashka on his heels at number three. Look at this. Jamal Hill dropping to six. Nikita, uh, Nikita Krylov. Owen St. Proof somehow in these rankings. Paul Craig dropping to 15. Can we actually... get a, a submission session in with Paul Craig we're not I mean he's fucking injured this time look at this it said he was a when I checked last time it said he was a potential rival but he's fucking injured what are you doing Paul fucking hell alright I'm going to leave it there thanks very much for watching everyone take care and I'll see you in the next one